What is going on, Alf Hunters? The market's rolling on this terrific Thursday. And let's just take a look at what's going on today. Probably not a lot going on today. Probably a lot of waffling. I'd imagine probably goes on today, getting ready for tomorrow and the press conference or statement that will be put out by Drone Pal tomorrow morning, 30 minutes after the market opens. So that would be what I would most likely be preparing for I wouldn't be uh, preparing for much of anything else just you know you've been having a good ride here over the past couple of weeks just be protective and see what happens tomorrow you know uh as far as kind of what's going on today we had a nice gap up on the market today uh we did gap up about a third of a percent so not too bad we should have got weekly jobless claims. So initial jobless claims did tick a little bit higher here. They did come in at 232K. Forecast was calling for 230K. Prior was at 228. So did tick a little bit higher there. Okay. We also got some PMI information, which it looked like it mostly came in line. I mean, I'm sure some people will nitpick over it, but nah. Not, not here, man. Not here. Market had a pretty favorable open though. Okay. So looking pretty good there on the SPY and a nice little pullback after it opened. Mostly here for the past like 45 minutes or so, kind of bouncing around the neutrality line. A little bit bouncier over the past five minutes. Q's. Q's had a nice gap up. They also had a nice little pullback, a little bit more negative here over the past uh, about 15, 20 minutes ago. Nice bounce here over the past five minutes. Okay. IWM kind of a flat open there nice bounce though and then it got hit pretty good 15 minutes or so after the market opened a uh, nice little drop off there for about 30 minutes uh, Nice little bounce here over the past 40 minutes. Okay So that's the way the IWM looks the DIA had a nice little gap up sideways there for the first 15 nice little drop there for about 30 minutes uh, Trying to bounce here a little bit. Okay RSP nice little gap up running a little bit bullish Dropped off a lot, a lot of bearish moves there about 15 minutes after the market opened. Okay. So that's kind of interesting. I don't think we got any data at that time period. Just weird market moves, I guess, 15 minutes after the market opened. All right. As far as uh, the daily picture, RSP. RSP made new all-time highs this morning. There you go. That might be why we sold off after the first 15 minutes, I guess, maybe. Uh, yeah, all time highs there on the RSP, intraday highs at least. DIA, not looking too bad there on the DIA. Main, main new trend highs so far, it's made higher lows as well. Okay. IWM still having a hard time getting through this level. All right. Q's, Q's had a nice gap up. Still kind of, uh, still kind of having a hard time getting through this little high that we put in back on July 23rd, a little day high, a little wick there. Hasn't gotten back to this gap down from the middle of July. Okay. And SPY is just gradually making its way back up to all time highs. I mean, it's really close now. Let's see. We are how far away? Not even, not even one percent. We're about three quarters of a percent away from all-time highs. So, yeah, it's amazing how much uh, three weeks will change, just like that. All right. As far as how everything else is doing, let's see. Vix. Um, Vix kind of looks like yesterday when we looked at it. Trained a little bit higher. Um, market's not exactly bearish, but. It is trading a little bit higher. VIX did come down from where it was at yesterday. Okay. DXY. Yep. There you go. 101.3 level. Uh, definitely didn't want to be bearish there anymore. So you're seeing a little bit of a bounce off that level. Could could go bullish. I mean, if you're, if you're aggressive, could definitely do that. But I'm not that aggressive. GLD, whoo, okay, a little bit more of a pullback into these previous highs that we had for much of July, early August, 
Okay. See if uh, see if the moving averages kind of continue to support and push that TLD higher. Ten year yield bouncing pretty good. Yeah, it's had a hard time continuing to roll over. Obviously, we had that huge rollover there at the end of July, beginning of August. Uh, we got a pretty good snap back there, and then it's had a hard time just continuing to push lower. So a little bit of a bounce there on on yields today. Ten and two inversion. As far as how the 10 to inversion looks, um, kind of just hanging out. It's not really doing a whole lot. All right. HYG. HYG yields are higher, so bonds should be a little bit lower. HYG is a little bit lower. LQD. Uh, LQD could be an interesting spot here because, you know, we, we over much of the previous parts of this week, we, I mean, we were pushing higher. Clearing out some highs. I mean, this could just be a quick retest. Also, the moving average is coming up. So I can see I can see some dip buying on the LQD. Same kind of deal for the TLT. Now, the interesting thing here for the TLT is we, I mean, we haven't gotten back up to that early August high. So yeah, mm. that's kind of a tough one. It is kind of a tough one. Maybe. Maybe I'd rather be bullish on the LQD than the, the TLT on this kind of pullback. And so, anyways, just kind of the way I'm, I'm looking at it. As far as sector rotation on the day, uh, you can see tech opening higher. So I had a nice little gap up. You can see tech kind of lower there. All right. So underperformers, discretionary is underperforming. Materials underperforming. Tech underperforming. Utilities, staples underperforming. Healthcare, industrial is kind of in line with the market there. Energies, real estate, communications outperforming. And day's best performer so far as financials. How things look intraday. Well, if we take out the gap, yep, tech Seen some pretty good sell off from the open. Discretionary is also underperforming. Everything else is kind of outperforming. You got materials, healthcare, staples, communications, industrials, utilities outperforming. Energies, real estates doing pretty well. And then, yep, financials doing pretty good intraday.